Hello everyone and welcome to the top 10 most beautiful horses in Red Dead Redemption 2. Feel free to make your own list in the comments too and tell me which horses you agreed with or disagreed with. Sitting at number 10 we have the Flax and Roan Tennessee Walker. This horse is for all of my Roan lovers. In a gorgeous strawberry colour, its head and legs are the darkest part on the coat. These Tennessee Walkers are of the riding horse type and come with standard handling. In story mode, these beauties can be found at Tumbleweed Stable for $150 and online you can purchase them after level 30 for $150 or 6 gold. Whilst these aren't the top of the range horses, they certainly have a unique and pretty coat that is sure to catch a few eyes. In the number 9 spot we have the Overo American Paint. Having my logo horse be a Palomino paint as well, I will admit I'm a little bit biased. But you cannot deny that these horses look incredibly unique and stunning, especially in the rain. With a soft golden base and splashed white body, these horses are quite striking with their light blue eyes. The American paints are classed as work horses with standard handling. In story mode, you cannot buy this horse, it is only obtainable in some places in the wild or by stealing it off of lawmen. In online, after level 21, you can purchase them for $130 or 6 gold bars. Number 8. Few Spotted Appaloosa We have to be honest here, this horse looks like the pony of our childhood dreams. This horse is a perfect white with a few dark spots speckling its body. Tie this together with a gorgeous pink nose and you get this absolute beauty. The Appaloosas are classed as work horses and come with standard handling. In story mode, you can only find this in the wild and it cannot be purchased from any stables. You also cannot get this horse online. This horse is also listed as ideal for cross country journeys, so not only is it stunning but it is a capable mount too. At number 7, we have Rachel the Thoroughbred. Rachel is a one-of-a-kind seal brown thoroughbred. Her coat consists of a lovely dark brown colour, two white hind leg socks and a stunning blaze on her forehead. Standing tall and fit, Rachel is a horse you don't want to lose. Not only is her coat magnificent, but she's also a pretty rare horse. You cannot get her in online, and you cannot buy, find, or steal her in story mode. To obtain this beauty, you must reach Epilogue 1, where during a story mission at Pronghorn Ranch, the owner will give you Rachel for free. But be aware, in story mode, horses that die will do so permanently, and this is the same for Rachel. If you lose her or she dies, you will not be able to get her back, so make sure to keep her safe and she will repay you by making all the NPCs compliment you on your stunning ride. Number 6 we have Maggie the Mustang. Maggie is a one of a kind horse. She is a gorgeous Mustang who is a frosted light Palomino. Interestingly, Despite being a Mustang, she lacks the notable dorsal stripe and feathers that all other Mustangs share. Maggie belongs to the gang member Lenny, so you can find her resting at camp or being ridden by Lenny on some missions. Being a horse that, in vanilla story mode, players cannot ride or interact with, and being completely missing in online, she is certainly a horse that will have you doing a double take and considering installing mods to try and ride her. At number 5 we have the Dapple Buckskin Norfolk Roadster. This is for all my spirit or buckskin fans. In a stunning deep gold with dark legs, mouth, eyes and defined dapples, this beauty will make you feel like you're riding atop a gorgeous war horse. Pair him with a black mane and tail and you have a dappled spirit. This horse is not available in story mode, but you can purchase them online after reaching max level of Moonshiner. This horse will cost $950 to purchase. Number 4 we have the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter. A bit of a mouthful, but a horse I would consider to be a cult classic. This is popular with not only horse people, but also regular Red Dead players. 
a very eye-catching coat. This horse comes in a deep silver grey, complete with patches of white, a wide blaze, white legs, long fringe, and very defined dapples. This horse is not just a looker, however. Being a Missouri, these are multi-class horses with standard handling, and they are most notable for their stamina and speed. If you'd like to grab one of these beauties for yourself, you can find them at Blackwater Stable for $950 in story mode, and after rank 58, you can purchase them for $950 or 38 gold bars in online. At number 3, we have The Count. This horse may not be for everyone, but you can't deny the almost pony princess look of this horse's coat. While not everyone is a fan of the Arabian model, and specifically their size, this horse certainly brings an air of almost regalness. Coming in a creamy white with a pink nose, the Count is a rather striking horse, and one you can identify pretty quickly due to his size and coat. With the Count being owned by Dutch Vanderlyn, therefore being a gang horse, the player cannot mount or interact with this horse without the use of mods in single player. Unsurprisingly, sitting at number 2 spot is Baylock. Baylock is Micah Bell's horse in story mode, and despite having a rat of a rider, this horse seems to make equestrians foam at the mouth. With a deep black coat, high socks and a bald face accompanied by two striking blue eyes, Baylock is a horse you can recognise straight away. Interestingly, while doing research for this video, I found even more reason to hate Micah Bell. According to the Missouri Foxtrotter Red Dead fandom page, Baylock's coat is strikingly similar to that of the Dark Horse in Red Dead 1, a horse that will only appear when the player's honour is low. So, the editor made the connection that this is no coincidence, giving Micah's immoral nature an axe of villainy. You cannot purchase Baylock in story mode, and he does not exist in online. However, during chapter 2 of the game, you can ride and care for Baylock while Micah is in jail. However, you cannot bond with him, and after Micah is rescued, he will no longer be available to ride. In my opinion, the number one spot goes to... Buell. Warning, side quest spoilers ahead. Buell is a one-of-a-kind horse, much like Rachel. He cannot be purchased at any stable, and he only exists in the pen at the Veterans Homestead in online, and he cannot be interacted with. Buell has a gorgeous Cremello gold coat, blue eyes and a pink nose. Being a Dutch warm blood, he is on the taller and heftier side, and comes with standard handling. Whilst online players won't be able to have this majestic horse, the close alternative is the Cremello Cladruba, which you can get online for $550 after unlocking the trader role. There is only one way to obtain Buell in story mode, and that is by finding a man called Hamish Sinclair and playing the veteran side quests. After Hamish is fatally wounded by a giant boar, the player can choose to mount Buell and keep him for themselves. Buell is the same as Rachel in that if you lose or accidentally kill him, you will no longer have him in your game, so be very careful. Not only is this horse gorgeous, a steady mount, and one of a kind, I can't help but feel even more love for him after Hamish passes, and I think many players will also agree. And that is my list of top 10 most beautiful horses in Red Dead Redemption 2. Did you agree with my list? Are there horses you believe deserved a spot? Let me know in the comments below. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye